Well, you're only getting me tonight because Heather is busy wrapping our black metal ghastly figures. And we have so much to wrap, we have so much work. But I wanted to take a moment aside just to discuss really big news that populated today all over social media about Funko and Goliath Games. You guys probably saw it. I noticed it through Funko Finders today, but we actually have a source on the inside where we found out a little bit more information that you probably don't know. Now this story feels like something positive or something really good. And I'm gonna read you a little bit uh, from what was released today. But realistically, the news is actually really terrible. And we have brought you breaking news in the past, bad breaking news, but breaking news nonetheless. And we fi figure here on the channel, we have to cover a little bit of everything. So, Funko and Goliath announce exclusive global deal for Funko Games. Now, Goliath is a company I'd never really heard of before, but I went on their website today and they make all sorts of games. I noticed a lot of like kids games and things. I'm sure a lot of good stuff. Unfortunately, never purchased from them, never played one of their games. So this says that Funko Games is a highly regarded brand that includes hundreds of board games recently created as well as a great portfolio from Forrest Prozan. We look forward to bringing the Funko brand and style to the game aisle in new and innovative ways. Now that's from Goliath. So basically Funko has an agreement with Goliath in which they can use Funko related properties. One of those properties, which is a really interesting like game idea, has to do with Biddy Pop. So it states here, we're especially thrilled about our plan to bring to market a new and exciting game called Biddy Pop Chase, which includes Funko's popular Biddy Pop miniature collectible characters. Now we had talked about this in the past. I remember Brian Mariotti during one of those, you know, a couple, I think it's like their quarterly breakdowns uh, where they explain like what's upcoming, how they did during the quarter. He had mentioned at one point that the Biddy Pops were like the big thing and they were going to really help Funko and they were going to uh, just be the biggest thing ever. And I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is at this point in time, although I do know that a lot of people do like the Biddy Pops, but now they're involving it in a game, baby. That's right. Now with Goliath, they're going to have some sort of game and apparently they're going to uh, announce this game or show off this game uh, at some show, I believe, which will take place maybe sometime next week. So we'll find out a little bit more about all of that very, very soon. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, so Goliath plans to showcase many of the Funko board games at the upcoming 2024 toy fairs in London and Nuremberg. And my understanding is that's very soon, if not next week, maybe the week after. I'm looking forward to see what they have to offer there. So this is all news that we know. If you read the press releases, you're aware of all of this news. And it sounds great. It sounds like Funko is connecting with Goliath Games. They're doing big game things. They're handing over the Funko licenses, the pops, the bitty pops. Basically, they're giving free reign to Goliath Games. Uh, and Goliath Games can do all sorts of fun things with Funko related stuff. That's really interesting. It's an interesting thought. I'm kind of excited to see how it all plays out. Now, here's the thing about Funko Games before we get to the really bad news. Funko Games is great, and we love collecting various Funko Games. There was a Marvel Funko Game where it had little mini miniature figures. There was a Star Wars collectible Funko Game that included minifigures as well. And not only did we enjoy collecting the minifigures, but we enjoyed actually playing the game. We actually played the games and we had a blast as a family. We all played it together and it was really fun. But Funko never, for whatever reason, ever talked about their games. It was few and far between that you would see any releases about their games. They never really shined a spotlight on it. And we complained about this quite often because we thought the games were really cool. In fact, if you go to your local Target store, I'm sure if you see a, a game box on an end aisle, if you lift it up and look at the back, you might even read the Funko logo on it. There are probably games out there that you've passed multiple times not even realizing that it's a Funko game. But it is. 
and and for, 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 frankly, you should be buying them and enjoying them just like us. Then the Marvel game is fantastic. We, we have so many of the minifigures, and you need to go and check it out. Usually, they have them over at GameStop, and nowadays you can find them, and they're like reduced price. You can get them. It's a like a really good deal. Uh, go and and check that out. It's a great. It's a really really great game. I think you would enjoy it. And the Star Wars one is great too. But look, the the bad news is, is that this. Uh, merger or deal is actually affecting Funko Games big time. So, now that Funko Games and Goliath are coming together, what's the outcome of that? Well, the outcome is layoffs. And we're talking about a pretty good amount of layoffs. You're talking about within the maybe 40 to 50 person range which is terrible. It's never good to hear that people are being laid off from their job, especially from a company that we all know and love. But I think Funko had basically run its course, right? With Funko Pops and all the other things that they've designed, not really uh, talking about Funko games enough, probably could no longer had the money or the marketing or whatever they needed in order to pump into games to make it bigger. I think they just sort of gave up and said, hey, uh, who's the highest bidder to start making Funko related things? And Goliath just happened to be one of them. So this whole thing is a really big mess and we feel for the people out there who are getting laid off. In the past, we talked about news like this, and with these layoffs, it just seems like things get more depressing, and this is this is more depressing than ever. Uh, so, a note here from the people that we've been talking to. The main reason it's a partnership is because most of the games are licensed and the licenses cannot be transferred. Funko retains the licenses and Goliath will manufacture and distribute them. So there's a good reason as to why this is all happening. Goliath will keep making uh, puzzles because Funko is licensing the pop brand to Goliath to continue making games. So Goliath is going to basically just cover anything to do with Funko related games, the puzzles, you name it, they're covering the whole gamut which is cool for Goliath, I guess, but for the people who are no longer uh, holding a job with Funko, that's terrible, that's depressing, and it's definitely something that we do not like to hear. What happens now? Well, we're going to watch Goliath and Funko and this partnership sort of take place, and hopefully it goes really well. And we see more games. Maybe the marketing is actually going to be there this time. It gets exciting. This Biddy Pop thing. By the way, the Biddy Pop thing? It's a game? That's interesting. You use little figures. Just, well, it's just like the other game, isn't it? But this time it's with Biddy Pops. I, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a big difference here or not. But we do know that people like collecting Biddy Pops. So having them as a part of a game may be a good thing. Maybe the Biddy Pops that you own now could be a part of, of a game. Who knows? I, I guess we'll find out more about that really, really soon, hopefully in the next couple weeks, and we can see what the game looks like. We can see the new updated minifigures. I don't know. It could be good. But Funko gets here because they they didn't market. They, they're faceless. I've mentioned this in past videos. Funko has become faceless. It used to be that they had a social media team, and they had a really good social media team up about, I don't know, four, five years ago that would go on to Funko and Instagram and YouTube and go on all the places and they would, uh, you know, unbox things. They'd put it in a little spinner, just like a lot of YouTubers. They would give stuff away. Uh, they would show off uh, vaulted items. Why isn't Funko doing this? This is something Funko should be doing. And it's not like it's a hard thing because YouTubers with a couple of extra dollars or, or people with a couple of extra dollars can become YouTubers and do exactly this. So why wouldn't Funko do this? They become faceless. And when they become faceless, basically now we really... We, we look at we look at this as just this corporate giant now. It used to be we looked at it as the Funko family. We would see these people unboxing things on Funko marketing and social media, and we would say, wow, those people are awesome. This is really fun. This is funny. I enjoy this. I think these people are cool. I want to go out and buy Funko Pops too because they just showed it. Now it's just a corporate machine. 
You just see things pop up on Instagram and on Facebook and on, what is it, Twitter or X, whatever you call it now. It just shows up there now. And who cares? Who cares? And in fact, recently I've been talking to a bunch of marketing people because we have our company, Mischief Toys. By the way, Heather's in there hard at work trying to put together these black metal gas leads. If you haven't ordered yours, go to mischieftoys.com and buy it. We also have a bunch of merch. Two shirts, two hoodies, two hats. That's a lot of clothes, and you're gonna wanna go and get yours. By the way, these figures, they can come with one of two random hollow stickers, and they're really cool, so don't miss out on that. You're gonna wanna go and buy your figure, get your sticker. Come on, black metal gas lead. It's the greatest ever, and it was my idea, so of course it was the greatest ever. Okay, now that I'm done tooting my own horn and talking about Mischief Toys, I've been talking to marketing people, and they made a very good point, and it actually goes back to the point of a faceless company. When we talked to this marketing group, they basically said that people like to buy from people. They like seeing people that they can connect with or people who are excited about their product. People that, like us, who get in front of this camera and we're enthusiastic about all the things that we're doing because we really are. We have the passion. We're excited about Gasly. We're excited about Mischief Toys. We're excited about the Monstro. We're excited about all the stuff we talked about in yesterday's video that covered all sorts of Mischief Toys stuff in 2024. Man, let me tell you something. I'm tooting my own horn again, but 2024 is gonna be something insane for Mischief Toys, so make sure you stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. MischiefToys.com, join the newsletter. I know I sound like a broken record. Oh, oh, go to Instagram and follow at Mischief Toys. There's a lot of good stuff there, too. We went live, by the way. It was, it was fun. We had a really good time. We're going to do more of that, by the way, so if you go and follow, you'll see us on there more often. But people want to connect with other people. They don't want a corporate giant. They don't want to go on Funko.com and just buy blindly some random thing that popped up. Yeah, the random anime character that goes up and everybody wants the anime character and it's easily easily flipped and, and all that. Yeah, sure, it's fun. It happens every once in a while. And nowadays, it's basically the only glimmer of hope when it comes to Funko that we have and, and, and keep, right? It used to be that things would go up on Funko.com and sell out instantly and we would all cheer and holler or scream or curse at Funko and post all over social media and go absolutely insane. But that isn't happening anymore. And that's because Funko is faceless and they need to change this. We've been talking about this for a very long time. And I think sometimes we talk, uh, talk about it until we're blue on the face, but I think that is what needs to be done in order to make change. Funko needs to change things. And maybe this is the first step in order to do so. Funko and Goliath working together on Funko Games. Could it be that Funko partners with some other companies, with other uh, various brands that they're working with? Who knows? Anything could happen at this point. It's obvious that Funko is going through changes. Maybe some of this stuff is not going to be good. Maybe it's really bad, especially when layoffs are involved and people are losing their jobs. And we feel for you guys out there, and we're so sorry to hear this. And if this channel can do anything for you, I know we are on YouTube and, and we, we yell trash a lot, but we are here for all of the artists. We're here for all those people who were laid off from Funko, and we will praise your name here on the channel and try to help you if, uh, if you need it. We're here for that. That's, that's what we've done in the past for artists. We've helped them get jobs. So feel free to reach out to us directly, gasocast at gmail.com. We're here to help any way we can. But hopefully Funko finds its way. Because as a fan of Funko, as a, a person who loves collecting their product, it's hard to see them go down this route. It's hard to hear that people are being laid off. It's hard to hear that these really incredible changes are being made. Now, sometimes these changes have to happen. It's just, it's just how it goes sometimes. But it's something that we don't want to hear. And it's certainly something that I didn't want to have to read about today. Reading the press release was one thing. Reading the messages from people who were affected was something entirely different. But this is a good time to ask you, what do you think about all this? I just told you information you probably didn't know about. What do you think? What do you think about the layoffs? What do you think about this Goliath thing? I looked at their website, I don't recognize any of their games at all. So I'm not saying that they're good, I'm not saying that they're bad, I'm just saying that there's a lot more for, for me to learn in order to know if this was a, a good thing or not. But let us know what you think about all of this and more in the comment section down below. And let uh, Heather know how much you missed her in this video. 
because because I, of course I did because I love having my uh, my best friend my sidekick here with me in every single video that we make and of course what is a video a Gaslocast video without her sitting here and farting because that's a huge part of what we do that's a huge part well it's what what she does okay so in every video we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon because we appreciate you guys so much you are amazing and we love you in this video. We would like to shout out to Amy Richmond, Denver Bow, Adam Rubin, Stationary Wanderer, Brian Spears, Mark Wright, Veronica Knotts, Harley Malk, Donald Lomax, and Marcus Gonzalez. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. And hitting the like button helps this channel in a really big way, so make sure you do that. And share us with your friends. If you have friends out there who love uh, designer toy companies, Hot Toys, Funko, we talk about all those sorts of things here. So drag them over, drag them over by the ear and tell them to check out Castlecast because we think they'll love us and they get all the greatest news uh, or bad news uh, as soon as it comes out, maybe even news that you didn't even know existed. So make sure you tell all your friends. And check out MischiefToys.com. I know I've said that a lot here in this video, but we have so many great things coming up. Uh, a Hot Topic exclusive is coming. Uh, we have all sorts of cool things. More plush. Uh, come on. And Mortem. I don't know if you watched yesterday's video, but we're getting so much great feedback about Mortem. So make sure you keep in tune with us and, and see what's coming up next. But with that, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you for not uh, throwing uh, your phone or your, or, your, or your TV out the window because it's just a little old Chris. Guys, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.